and in today's video we're gonna install this monster of a bumper in front of my mini Suzuki the one thing I don't like about these mini trucks is that they don't have a back bumper and they don't have a front bumper something that's a little bit more safer when driving on the road a back bumper would be nice plus a front one also having a hitch in the back and maybe in the front would be a plus also. I mainly use this truck to drive around our property and to run errands in town. So far with this mini truck, I got new tires. YouTube subscriber, thank you for sending me these tires all the way from Japan. Really good treads on them. We need to lift up all four wheels uh, so that we can take them all off and take them to a tire shop. Sixty bucks for all four tires, and they're just doing it right now, really quick. These tires are still good. I'm gonna just keep those, use them for spares. All right, that was quicker than what I thought. So thank you guys at the tire shop. Also, I got a new back bumper with a receiver hitch. This one is super solid. I've been using it for some months now and I love it. Doing a lightly go over it, but look at it, it's turning black. It's, it's changing it. Just kind of lightly go on it. Look at the difference here. This is kind of faded and the dark black. You can kind of tell the difference. It's pretty neat how that works. Next, we need to take off this bar. All right, here it is guys. Expert Accessories sent me this bumper uh, to try out on my mini truck on the farm. Hopefully I can get to use it soon for various things that we do here. A heavy duty bumper. They sell multiple size bumpers on their website. They're in Minnesota. They weld and make these themselves. What I like about this one is that it has a receiver hitch in the front and then it comes with all the necessary brackets screws i mean this stuff is is solid it's heavy this is an aftermarket bumpers that we're installing so we're tr trying to reuse holes and try not to make too many more holes if we don't have to the hole can't be too big it looks like it fits Now we need to fish the bolt through those holes, wrap this wire around it, and don't lose the bolt. This is probably the hardest part is fishing these bolts through. Good thing I'm not being timed for this. I'm just gonna hand tie it everything for now and then we're gonna, I still gotta do the other bracket. And the 
next bracket goes on this one. Honestly, it's genius. Whoever thought of this, I mean, to you reuse holes and fabricate this until so it fits. And this is gonna hold, probably hold it up or help hold it up even more. Started looking at these trucks. I was hoping that there would be a time where I put a bumper like this on. If I couldn't find it, I was gonna make one. So it kind of goes in a U-shaped, attached up here, and it kind of goes around up here. I'm starting to see it now. This is the uh, crossbar. That's gonna be mounted kind of like that. Mounting the bumper is going to be a little tricky. Probably should get another person over here to help me. That's what I have a winch for. To butcher animals and to lift up a bumper. Tricky getting in there. Then, after mounting the front bumper, I tightened everything up. Come on, you can do it! You can do it. Now I feel just a little bit more secure driving this thing around even when I'm on, on the road instead of having just a plastic bumper. Last thing I need to add this bar to there. It has threads at the end with some bolts, which that should be pretty easy. But I don't want to do that just yet because I still have to install the winch on this. So it's the winch and then this. The winch is going to take a little bit more thought because I need to install a switch that's inside and it goes from here to the battery to inside the truck. Never done that before, but we're going to give it a shot. So that'll probably be another video. Almost there. Let's test it out. Yeah. Overall, I think it went really well. And we're one step closer of making my mini truck zombie proof. Huge shout out for expert accessories for sending me the bumpers. I'm going to use them. I'm going to abuse them. And we're going to see how it goes here on our farm. You can't really tell that there is even a new bumper there because it's all black. It kind of blends in. We've had some good rain lately. Not a huge amount, but it's something. I guess what I'm really stoked about is, yeah, the bumper, but then also putting a winch on it. I think putting a winch on it, it's just gonna make it more better and more usable. I still need to get some things for that winch, so that way I can mount it, um, you know, with the switch inside, and I think I need to get some wires for it. Plus floodlights, I'm gonna put floodlights on it. Hey, pigs. <laughs> Come on, pigs. Our little pigs have been doing good now that we separated them from the mama. I always worry worried about that because like how are they gonna do? Are they gonna want to try to escape or is she gonna want to try to get to him? But no. They're pigs. They're animals. They're not like humans. They don't care. Yeah. <laughs> 
too soon to say if she's pregnant or not, but if all goes well, we'll have some babies here soon. Looking at it, I'm a little worried that the bumper might be a little low to the ground because it brings it down a little bit, especially when I go over hills. I, I, I test drive it around here and, and hasn't done anything as far as hitting like the ground. They sell little kits that you could lift these trucks up and that would probably help that. As I'm using it, I'll figure it out if that is too low or not. And then we may have to lift the truck up. But so far so good.